Yo, what's up? It's Tone Depp. I'm here with Jimbo and Birdie. We crossing the street. What's up, Jimbo? What is good? I'm here How with you doing, man? Tone from Tone Deaf Media. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great, man. I'm Welcome. just stoked that the weather's getting better. Yeah. Weather's nice. Got some friends with us today. Brought the whole squad out. Everybody's here hanging out with us. We're here today at Lentz Park, now Walker Stadium. Still Lentz Park, but home of the Portland Pickles. Do you ever come to any of the games? No, I haven't been to the Portland Pickles games, but man, back in the day, I used to go to the Beavers games. I think it was called PGE Park at that time. I keep changing the name but we uh we've been going to timbers games pretty frequently up at the providence uh stoked to see them doing well that's one i haven't done yet i haven't done a timbers game you haven't yet. done a timbers game man no, i haven't done that yet i followed the timbers before they were like mls okay and back when they were you know just semi-pro and uh, i followed the timbers and the thorns for a while back then watching like christine sinclair and alex morgan get morgan get on the uh the um What's that? The USA Olympic team. So, all right. Yeah, super stoked. I've never been a super big soccer fan, but they draw a big ass crowd out there. I know that. Oh, <laughs> it's great. You got the Timbers Army just throwing up. I got friends yeah. that do that, but it's always like drums and fucking like smoke and shit. So. All right. You play any other instruments? Man, I play guitar. Um, I played drums growing up. Okay. Uh, you know, mainly just like pop punk, punk rock bands, just jam shit, you know? All right. But, uh, I'm always curious about that. We're here to, to mainly talk about your explosive nature that you just kind of showed up here around town. It seems like with the tone deaf media, um, your presence on the internet has been very strong lately. Very nice work. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. I love man. everything you're doing. Honestly, um, I, I'll put my heart and soul into it. So like you saying that means a lot. No, no, it's great. Great stuff. Addicting content, uh, logistics and I, and uh, we were digging around, of course, on your social media. We really like the photographed uh, pop-ups that you've been doing. Those oh, yeah. are something kind of unique. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that and how that works? So, man, I've been uh, kind of exploring new ways to do business, uh, trying to think of some options to, like, sell my stuff, make a living doing it. That's my goal is to just be a full-time videographer, photographer, mm -hmm. media content creator. So one of the ways I've been doing that was the pop-up photo shoots where I just stand somewhere downtown. We've been to Mount Tabor. We've been down to the waterfront. You can see the photos for that on my yeah. IG. But... Uh, yeah, honestly, we just pop up somewhere. It keeps it simple. More people can access the services that I provide. And uh, it's just, it's a great way to meet new people, people walking by. Uh, it's been fun so far. I was, I, I make the comment about being in, you know, I've only had a camera two, three years myself. And I was uh, speaking to the girls on the way over here about the excitement of when you're done with the video or a photo shoot, how excited you are to get home and, and see what you've done. Do you still yeah. have those moments where oh, you man. just race home and you're so excited about it honestly every time honestly i leave these shows at kelly's olympia you know the the thesis i leave uh, the hip-hop shows around town some comedy stuff and like honestly after i've captured that i need to see what it is i need to run it through lightroom and i don't go to sleep till it's like exported you know what i mean like <laughs> those eye bleeding sessions i've done a thousand of those so i know exactly yeah, yeah. what you're talking about definitely like want to post it right away and get everybody to see it uh just experience what I'm I think I'm one of the best uh, advice I got is someone said post it before the alcohol wears off so. <laughs> just to keep it fresh <laughs> just, right yeah yeah, yeah, right, yeah. keep yeah. it loose um, if you watch so. the show enough we do bring everybody a gift oh. um, as part of your growth that I've noticed around town here supremely oh lately God. that is from uh, the only thing I've been able to keep alive for about the last 20 years that's Dude, a clip that's from. so um, as you watch that grow I hope you can grow along with it and Dude, continue I'll, to I'll appreciate to that do what man. you're doing there We'll yeah. hold on to that for you. So yeah, yeah. Clear, honestly, right? it, me it means a lot to me that you bring that. Honestly, that's all I've been trying to do. Uh, I've been through a lot in the last few years where, like, it wasn't, like, definite that I would, like, even make it. So at some point when I started Tone Deaf Media, it's given, like, purpose to my life that I haven't had in a long time. So It's fun, huh? Isn't yeah, it yeah. great when you can find something to kind of throw yourself into? Kind of, I mean, I, I can only compare it to what I've done with the show. Um, giving your all to something bigger than you, it takes its own life eventually. Yeah, and, man. And I'm sure you felt that by now, right? 
Man, yeah, it's like, uh, like I said, I've been staying up late a lot, you know, three, four in the morning, editing videos, music videos, and all this photography, kind of plotting out my, uh, plotting out my business. Uh, and it just becomes so worth it, you know what I mean? When yeah. I'm able to like scroll down my own page, you know what I mean? And just see those things that I've been doing. It's like, wait a second, like I'm further than I think I'm, I'm, I'm you know, capable of it. So it's, it's super sick. Isn't that cool? Like the next day after when you start flashing through Facebook and you see seven people who change their profile pictures mm -hmm. to the photos that you took of them or whatever. You know I, what I, mean? I was just telling my uh, <laughs> business partner and friend, Sammy, this actually, like, <laughs> There are people from like two years ago that when I was just doing it for fun mm -hmm. and uh, kind of getting getting more experience with it, I uh, I took pictures of this band Dreadnought, and like all four of the band members still have my photo as their profile picture. And every time I see that man, it gives me another ounce of hope. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's kind of how I started. I just started taking pictures of people and developing relationships with people through the photography that eventually led me to want to do a music video Definitely. or is that Definitely. kind of your same journey or? Yeah, I mean, I've always been into videography. I actually uh, just worked with a tattoo artist, True Gold Tattoo, okay. uh, built him a website, truegoldtattoo.com and uh, in exchange for a, a piece of work. So um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just moving and I'm super stoked about that. So. Have you had a chance to work with any businesses other than that yet? Yeah, so honestly, I, I work with Block Bandits Club, uh, built their website, blockbanditsclub.com. Uh, we do a lot of metaverse virtual reality events. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yeah. Wow, where do you do those? Like, just you host those from your internet at home? Or? Yeah, honestly, shout out to Page Street Lounge. They hosted our first virtual slash physical event. We had Bremer Baden. Shout out to Bremer. Uh, shout out to Bremer, dude. Guest. He's yeah. killing it right now. Uh, and uh, A Revolution performed as avatars in the metaverse while they were in a physical event as well and we documented the whole thing we were super stoked man. wow wow what got you into that what just is that just spearheaded through like you saw a post about it and you're like i don't know how to do that yet <laughs> honestly last year at new year's i don't usually make resolutions but my resolution was like go with the flow go with the stream go with the art you know what i mean so like i started following that path i met this guy sammy v Shout out to Sammy V. Honestly, he kills it like okay. with computer programming. He's built a whole like metaverse mall, dude. Like what? people can shop. We've linked up with DoorDash and Tight Tacos and a few other restaurants around town where like you can order food from our mall, shop for like apparel companies. Like, I mean, this, like, this is a whole setup wow. where people can virtually shop, you know? Wow. Yeah. Has that been successful financially for you? Honestly, we've seen a little bit of bread come out of it, but like the future is super set on like that shopping experience. We got a Hippie Speedball podcast. Like, Big ups. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Shout outs because they uh, they're in the metaverse like late night talk show room. And they're like local too. They're the Portland guys, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Well, what do you do for fun, man? I know that we do you know <laughs> video content and you know photography and stuff as a passion, but mm -hmm. what what do you do to relax? What do you do to just unwind? Man, I meditate a lot. Okay. Um, and outside of that, like photography is my fun. You know what I mean? Like you did I, a little traveling to you recently. Saw you at was it Astoria that you went to recently. Yeah, we're in Astoria. I think it was yeah. Saturday or Sunday. Saturday. Uh, it was a super super sick trip. We like took the long way. There's like a barge you can take outside of Vernonia. All right. So like you know we went up through the Washington side down the 101 out to Astoria. Nice little photo so. session there too. It was like nice. I saw the post the photos that you posted on Instagram. Those yeah, were nice. yeah. Yeah. Me and Mars, a uh, cool musician, artist from town, great singer. Um, like went out there and uh, essentially, yeah, we went to the same neighborhood the Goonies were in I'll and like those, took some photos. Some of those photographs, bing, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Check it out. <laughs> Honestly, uh, it was super, super sick. You get some food while you're out there? Oh man, we got this great go like eat, mushroom yeah. oyster soup from like a Ooh. hole in the wall in Astoria, dude. Ooh. Like it was super sick. Are you a seafood fan? Oh yeah, yeah, man. What about round town eats? What do you eat around town? You got any favorites? Um, you know, there's a Thai food restaurant, like, what is it? I think it's 16th and right on the, right on the, uh, the 405 there, but, uh, I forget what it's called, <laughs> but honestly that place is like an always a go-to when I'm in the downtown area. So we were out snacking the other night around town. We were down, downtown, I don't know, like right by the park blocks. 
Bernie and I were eating euros all night. Oh, dude. <laughs> the food carts in this town are insane. I think there's more, like, food carts than actual, like, restaurants going on. I'm super stoked to see all these, like, food carts come up. These, these, yeah, great food. I'd like to challenge more of the viewers out there to that. Go out and find something new. Uh, yeah. Portland George has a great burger down at Smacktown. Mm -hmm. um, Gourmet Brothers. Um, there's, there's so many places to name. Uh, Whoa Snacks. It's great. I mean, there's so many great places. So. Definitely. If you're out there and you're in Portland, go find yourself a little food truck or someplace local to support. Spend your money there. Definitely, man. Small so what businesses. about video packages and photography packages? What does it take for someone to work with you? What do they got to do? So uh, I have packages. I like to work with everybody. Honestly, my number one goal is to, like support the scene and create great content for Portland hip hop. I feel like it's on the rise. So to be part of that is just like my number one blessing. Uh, but I have packages for every budget. I make my living doing videography and photography. Uh, I make, I eat, you know, I pay rent with it. So it's like always a help when people like support the business financially. So the, um, the, the packages range from like 200 to 2K for a music video. On the 2K version, I like to polish everything up, do storyboards, treatments, plan everything, get location. Everything's taken into account. On the other side of that, I can do a music video in two hours. I'll edit it in like four and like ship it out to you for a couple hundred bucks. I think like those have honestly been some of my favorites. Y'all hear uh, that? A couple hundred bucks. You get this video same day from a man's here. That's nice work. Yeah. Yeah. My turnaround time is super fresh. I've been editing for like 15 years. So it's like just know the flow of everything, know how it needs to be, uh, starting to polish it out even more. It's kind of a nice day today. You've got a wonderful day. Yeah. It's kind of broke over the last like week here, it feels like. It was pretty crappy there, it was raining all the time for a week. Oh my God, man. But I'm sorry, I feel that summer weather, that summer vibe, that energy and the scene kind of take off, we get man. That, we get those summer takes now where we get this nice, oh, this is golden hour stuff, this is golden hour stuff. <laughs> That's what's up, man. <laughs> That's what we really want, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Best Let's go check shoot. in with the ladies. Yeah. yeah. What's up, ladies? <laughs> hey. We're just talking nutrition. Talking nutrition? Yeah. All right. Tequila. Right. Tequila. 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 That's what's yeah. Yeah. Yo, we got uh, Sancho's tequila in the metaverse now. So every, e I'm serious. Every bottle is an NFT. What? Yeah. So like when you buy it, you also own an NFT. But we have like safe drinking practices where like you can hang out virtual reality at the safety of your home. What? Get a bottle of Sancho's delivered to you, and then. Uh, <laughs> And then you can like attend events, uh, go to concerts or whatever in our fucking metaverse, dude. <laughs> I still can't believe this is a real thing, but it's it's growing exponentially from what I can tell. Dude, it tripped me out. Honestly, I met Sammy <laughs> and a month later we had like an event going, like we've just been grinding hard on everything. A month after you met him and then you're already like just yeah. deep into the metaverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's insane. I kind of resisted it for a while, honestly. It's kind of like a new concept, but I've kind of been embracing it because I feel like it's the direction things are going. like. Web 2 was when like Google came out and you could have social media, IG and all that, but like we're moving into Web 3, which is like super virtual reality. Uh, it's all like VR, like Do first person. Do you have an Oculus? Do you have an Oculus? I don't own an Oculus, but a lot of my friends do. Like shout out to Arev, brought one to the uh, virtual event we did back okay. in like March, so. I got one as a gift. Shout out to Dirty Black. Uh, on yeah. his episode, he brought me an Oculus too. That's amazing. So <laughs> we haven't had any fun. Look at these, well. <laughs> just it in. Find the sun. I, like I said, you got to get yourself some middle-aged girls to hang out with. They really, you know, like the energy the is fun. real. No fucks <laughs> given. <laughs> you got any other big plans for the rest of the evening? Anything, um, anything fun going on? Just work? Or? I got work, man. I go home and I, uh, about 8 o'clock, I get, get started working. I got hella projects every Sunday. I have like a task list that I'm trying to get done. And like throughout the week, I just pick apart the task list right. and get things going. So... Do you edit through Lightroom and Adobe? Are you Adobe user? I do Lightroom and, and uh, uh, Photoshop. Um, okay. Just been designing logos and stuff with sure. Photoshop and Lightroom is to edit all these pictures, but I've been more on like the DaVinci Resolve side of things you lately. Like the color? I hear the color grading on that is just fun, easy to use. Yeah, too, yeah. Because right? the Adobe one's kind of a struggle sometimes, I feel like. I, I use Final Cut for like 10 years before nice. that, like other high powered like programs before any of this was popular, Pinnacle sure. Studio. But I moved from Lightroom after a couple years because it was like six programs for like one like task, you know what I mean? Right. So like Resolve is super, super laid out on um, the color grading. 
Check out the Passed Out music video I did with Khalil Khalil. Okay. Um, honestly, that guy... Is that uh, out right now? It's out right now. It's on YouTube, Khalil Khalil's uh, like YouTube page. But if you want to link it up, show some folks. Because honestly, that was like my best work so far. I felt like I pulled in all my skills. And we were able to create something super sick kind of on the fly. Oh, use that video time, for so. the intro for your show. Dude, so. that, that's what's yeah. up, man. So. That was the, what he's talking about was the video intro that you saw at the beginning of the show. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you liked it. <laughs> don't, you, don't, don't you love the power of movies? Yeah. <laughs> um, ran through about 15 minutes pretty quick, my friend. You want to give some special love, shout outs, PSA, uh, words of encouragement on the way out of here before we wrap this up? Bro, honestly, just super stoked to see everybody in the scene. Like, it gives me, like, motivation when I see you all dropping albums, coming out with new content, opening restaurants and uh, just overall like killing it. So special shout outs to Khalil Khalil. We just did that passed out music video. We're gonna be pushing it hard pretty soon. Uh, Block Bandits Club and blockbanditsclub.com uh, for the metaverse shit. Uh, Chasing Spirits, uh, Big Wino and Teresita Lee Goddess uh, just dropped a song uh, called Chasing Spirits. We got a music video coming out for that. Oh, so cool. definitely be on the watch for all that. Um, just super stoked to be a part of the scene, man. Honestly, there's so much to talk about, but just follow my IG, man. I've been, I've been grinding. Well, add your Instagram link below so everybody can get in touch with you. That's the best way to get a hold of you for bookings at two, I take it? Instagram or my website, tonedef.media, is where I'm pushing more people to for bookings. Links and for those are in the description below. Um, other than that, man, it's been great having you on the show. I'm glad we were able to catch up finally. I know Yo. you're busy as I've been, so. Yeah, uh, honestly, man, I'm just super stoked to be moving. It gives me so much uh, good energy. You got me a gift. I didn't know there would be like five people here. So I got you a couple of joints for you and Birdie. Right. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys have a good rest of your night. Thanks so much for the support. Appreciate that. That's great. What a, what a great gift. Let's all bring it in for our Power Rangers getaway What's here. What's up? Let's bring it in. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go oh, across the street. Yep. Cross Thank the you so street much. On, cross the street on three. You ready? One, two, three. Cross, cross the, the street. street. Hey. Let's go. Thanks again, Tone. Have a great night, you my too. friend. Cheers. Bro.